Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the genetic mysteries of ancient Egypt, focusing on Queen Tai and King Tut, and that haplogroup K claim. Let's get started. You might have seen claims linking Queen Tai and King Tut to mitochondrial haplogroup K, also associated with Ashkenazi Jews and the Levant. But how accurate is this? Let's break it down. DNA studies can provide conclusions about ancient Egypt's population only if they cover a significant number of individuals from diverse backgrounds. Experts like Egyptologist Barry Kemp emphasize the need for broad range samples. Modern studies, like those by Shunimen in 2017, often analyze mummies from periods influenced by foreign rulers, potentially skewing genetic data toward non-African ancestries. Despite the genetic claims, the physical appearance of statues and busts of Queen Tai suggests features closely aligned with sub-Saharan African ancestry, like a broad nose, full lips, and hairstyles typical of African cultures. Experts like Shamar Kakata and Sheikh Anta Diop have shown that early Egyptians had physical characteristics similar to other African populations from the Nile Valley. Queen Tai might have come from commoner stock, reflecting the broader African demographic. This challenges the idea that the royal lineage was significantly mixed due to foreign marriages. Albert Churchwood and other historians suggest that ancient Egyptians saw themselves as descendants of African groups, indicating a strong African foundation in their civilization. Our look at Queen Tai and King Tut shows a rich tapestry of genetic history that goes beyond simple categories. It's crucial to integrate genetic data with archaeological and anthropological evidence to appreciate ancient Egypt's diverse heritage. Remember, challenging narratives and pushing for broader research is essential. Maybe you'll be the next to uncover more secrets of the ancient past. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more deep dives into history. See you in the next video.